Tim, how did you see that one, uh, that overtime sequence play out from your perspective? Yeah, I thought their uh, their guy there that wanted to change kind of chased me pretty far up to, and then we kind of turned the play quickly and went up the other way, and I yeah, was able to get kind of an on my rush. It's a nice play by Lily. What was able to turn the momentum around after the first period, which was probably the best? Yeah, I mean, Maddie scores three goals. <laughs> <laughs> when you see them going like that for him, what was your mind? Yeah, I mean, he's the best goal scorer in the league, so I don't know uh, what else to tell you. What's this week been like for you? Will you practice yesterday under the weather? Yeah, it's fine. It is what it is. What's it like to get ready for an NHL game, though, when you're, when you're dealing with that? You just deal with it. It is, it is, I don't know, like you guys maybe go to work sick, like, same thing. <laughs> Uh, Mitch and Austin have now set a franchise record for factoring in on the 211 goals together. What, from your perspective, what, what makes their chemistry special? Yeah, I mean, they always find each other out there. I mean, nice. Uh, I think Mitch had that stretch pass to Austin on that goal, uh, the first one. So, I mean, they're always connecting, and I mean, they've had that chemistry since day one since they played together. It's, uh, it's lots of fun to see. To, to win these two games without the first two of Morgan's suspension, like, what's it mean to the group to kind of gut it out with the illnesses going on? You know, what, what can these wins do for you? Yeah, I think it's, I mean, just battle. I mean, build some character here. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Willie. What was, uh, what was the key for you guys finding a way to, to win this game tonight, Elliot? Uh, again, yeah, we play against a hard team. Uh, Philly, everybody know who is coach and this team. Is, is this guys play really hard everywhere. Uh, yeah, you know, like... Uh, First is Austin, yeah. Austin, he's hot today. Uh, he's uh, make some chance for win for us. Austin's been your teammate for a while now. Does he still find ways to surprise you? I'm not surprised. Long time ago, for him. <laughs> uh, we play against against each other in a World Championship too, and uh, yeah, a lot of play against him. Uh, yeah, he's not surprised me anymore. What do you remember from those days? Like he's a dominant player, yeah. Uh, I remember what time we play against him. All five guys play just for him <laughs> and leave it to everybody. He was just 18 then, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. And what time we be kids too, yeah. We, I don't remember this tournament, but a lot we play against each other. What do these two wins do for the team having now been able to pick up two wins without Morgan? Uh, like, uh, we need Morgan, yeah, for sure. This yes, is. Yes. Big opportunity for us, but uh, you know, like uh, if you ask it me, I am happy. <coughs> what we win is doesn't matter. You know, like uh, who is played today, who is not. You know, like uh, really important to be focused in uh, this moment right now. Yeah, we don't worry about what's going on in the future and, or, or in the past. We focus on this moment right now. Well, yeah, what stands out to you about Austin and Mitch's chemistry, the way they work together? I like it, you know, like it's fun to watch how these guys play, you know, like not not a lot of guys in this league play like that, yeah, uh, high risk plus, you know, like uh, this is a beautiful hockey, you know, like I, I I'm enjoy to watch how these guys play. What have you made about Benoit's willingness to fight? He's done it a lot for you guys. Okay? I didn't know about him, I'm surprised right now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he, I mean, like he's good, he's, you know, like he's show us, you know, like he's uh, with the team, you know, like, uh, and it's a really good moment. Yeah, you, a lot of positive energy in a, in a bench and in a lucky room what time is somebody fighting, special for Benny. Yeah, yeah, great job. He's doing great work. He's bought a lot of shots, you know, like, he's really, he's doing really good work. Thanks, Amy. Yes, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Answer something like that? <laughs> uh, no, just how did that, that second period go for you? Was one of your best ever personally, but also for the team? Yeah, I just think um, you know, they're a really uh, stingy team. They play really, really hard, both sides of the puck. Uh, they don't make it easy. So I think just sticking with it, staying patient, um, just trying to work them shift after shift, and then um, eventually getting those opportunities and capitalizing on it. All three on the glove side, was that something you were targeting on purpose or just sort of where the shots presented themselves? Uh, no, I think just where the shots kind of presented themselves. Um, so, yeah. Was a bug going around the room if you were impacted by that, or was it same with the group to just sort of battle, battle through that? Um, doesn't seem like it. I think just a couple of those guys, um, you know, it just seems like a 24 hour kind of thing. and.
Um, everybody seems to be kind of back feeling feeling good, so hopefully uh, that's the last of that. But um, sometimes it's inevitable. So uh, it was good to have a couple guys, uh, see Mitch JT back in the lineup, and um, you know Willie feeling a little bit better as well. So. What can the two wins uh, this week do for the group coming without Morgan and, of course, with some of the illnesses? Yeah, I think it's just building that positive momentum going forward and, you know, having um, these last two weeks, um, for the most part, being here at home and, and in a solid home stand and making sure we're taking care of uh, business on home ice and uh, before we get going on the road trip. So um, these are important, really important games for us. So um, definitely not to be taken lightly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he, uh, I think he gloved it now, yeah. so I, I wanted to touch it, but I was telling him to, to get going and touch it because <laughs> yeah. they, they were going to call it, but just a really good heads-up play by him and then the patience and um, just his ability to give me a really nice slip pass through two guys and, um, you know, just tried to... Yeah, I used the D as a screen and, and shoot it. Um, fortunate for for it to go in, but yeah, just a really nice heads up play by him, and then obviously the pass is beautiful. What about the, what about the play really early? You guys really were going in the first and kind of kept you guys in it when it was one nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's been playing incredible for us. Um, you know, just really calm, steady in the net. Um, been coming up with huge, huge saves for us. So um, it's been great to see. Um, I think especially with. Uh, where he was at, you know, a couple of months ago, and just being able to build himself back up. Um, you know, he's such a big part of this team. Everybody loves him so much. So um, it's been great to see, and you know, we're all extremely happy for him. And um, you know, we know that uh, you know his cause his confidence grows. The more the more he wants to be in the net and, and be the guy and uh, make those big saves when, when the opportunity presents himself. So uh, it's been great to see him. You can play with anyone, obviously, but you and Mitch really do have something special here. Uh, I'm sure you feel it some nights. What's it like for you to play with him? And yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I mean, um, he's an incredible player and uh, a great person and a great friend. So I think uh, we just try to push each other as much as we can and um, challenge each other uh, to be the best uh, versions of ourselves every night and, and try to lead the team by example and uh, just do what we can. So I um, feel lucky to play with uh, with a lot of these guys, obviously, but um, you know, the majority of the time um, I'm playing with him and uh, he's a special player. So. Um, you know, it's just uh, it's a blast. This uh, son that's one represented for the group when he's able to deliver big hits like that, not shy away from the fight. Does it add an emotional spark for the group? Yeah, for sure. I think he's just been a great, uh, you know, great addition to our team and has, has brought something. Uh, maybe that we're necessarily not missing, but something that we, we needed more of is that physicality and um, you know just that that tough. Tough D man back there, and um, you know he definitely he fits that really well, and um, he plays to his strengths. He doesn't try to do too much. He, he plays his game as as well as he can every single night, and um, you know he's been playing uh, unbelievable for us, and uh, he just keeps getting better and better. So uh, it's obviously great to see. Thanks, Matty. Awesome. Thank you. Timothy, uh, how did you see that uh, sequence in overtime play out? Uh, I don't know when uh, when Willie kind of passed me in, in our zone mm -hmm. there. I kind of saw an opening to skate with the puck and uh, obviously kind of beat uh, beat their defender there and then uh, just saw an opening for, for a pass to Will and I think it's better better for Will to have the puck than me. So <laughs> <laughs> okay, pass you pass with the uh, glove pass yourself. The <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I just tried to keep the puck in and then kind of wanted Matty to, to touch the puck to get the whistle. Uh, he told me to touch the puck so uh, and then I saw him open in the middle and made a pass. What's it like watching those three goals go in in like less than eight minutes? Like, what are you thinking as you see that? I don't know. It's uh, kind of used to it by now, I guess. Uh, just something he does. You know, he goes on a roll, and it's not even like that good of a scoring chance. It's kind of high, high shot, shoot those pucks, and just, it's a goal scorer. So uh, it's fun to see. Huge for us. What makes the chemistry between him and Mitch special? Um. I think they played for a long time. They kind of think the game similar, I guess. Uh, have fun out there. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a forward, so I'm not exactly sure, but um, it's fun, fun to watch. What have these two games done for your confidence? You know, more minutes, getting on the score sheet tonight. How, what does it do for you, these, these couple games? Yeah, no, it's been, uh, it's been feeling, uh, feeling better uh, going in the right direction. So just trying to take it step by step to, uh, to get better and uh, feel my, I'm on my way to get there. Thank you, Timmy. Tell so them you see the, uh, the goals go in like half for Austin tonight in the second period. Anything surprise you about this?
No, I mean, he's, we know by now he's an exceptional player. I mean, he's, you know, the year he got 60, you know, that tear he was on towards the end of the season, it seems like he's been on that, you know, all season to this point. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's exceptional. That's really not, not much else to say. Uh, obviously, game changing tonight. Yeah, I thought I thought in the second period I thought our, I thought our pace went up a lot. Um, second period by nature, just uh, be the long changes and such uh, usually opens the game up a little bit more, and so I thought that worked to our benefit and really got us skating. Uh, so our pace increased. We got to the neutral zone a lot better than the first period, and then, and then just our battle level, we started to come up with pucks. And I thought Austin really was the catalyst for us, not just because he shot the puck in the net, but just the way he competed, won loose pucks. Uh, um, I thought uh, I thought he was a beast for us in that second period to really just kind of get us going and sort of set the example of of uh, what was required. And I, I thought we had a lot of guys that really picked up their game uh, from there. Austin and Mitch have now factored in on 211 of the same goals. It's a franchise record for two teammates. Uh, how have you seen their chemistry grow, and from your perspective, what makes it special? Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say that I've seen it grow, uh, just because I think the growing happened a long time ago, you know, and I think there's just a comfort level there. Uh, I think their games complement each other very well, obviously. Um, and then they're just two, two very good players that uh, play at a high level. And, and, you know, we talked about Austin, you know, how exceptional it is for his ability to score. And, it's just a uh, you know ex exceptional ability to make plays and and find them, um, and then at the same time they're both they do a lot of good things away from the puck and in different the different zones to make sure they're on offense a lot. So all that kind of comes together when they're when they're at their best. They're you know they're hard to stop and, and uh, um, they change games for us. Yeah, well, obviously with Morgan, you have that element uh, kind of missing from the blue line, but. Timothy steps up and makes a couple of defensive plays like that tonight. Uh, what do you think yeah, yeah, I thought, you know, like we had to use Lily a lot tonight, and we leaned on him a lot uh, just because, A, the, you know, of the nature of the spot he was playing in and how the game was going, and we put him on the first unit power play today, so that right away ups his minutes. Um, probably got too high, quite honestly, uh, you know, into that third period, and I thought maybe Sauce started to see some effects of that. Um, but... I, I thought I thought he did I thought he did a nice job for us. I did well on the power play, and at five on five, uh, you know, I thought it's a good it's a good step for him uh, for sure. Early in the first period, really kept you guys in. Your confidence level in him has to be very close to what it was last year by this point. Didn't you? I, I missed who you mentioned. Well, Ilya, oh, oh. the way he plays. Yeah, yeah, I thought he was great. I thought he I thought he battled hard. You know, they they got to our net a lot more than we got to theirs tonight. You know, uh, so Sammy had to do a a really good job of, of standing tall in there and, and, and battling. Obviously, you don't like to see the two go in in the third because he deserves better than that, but uh, no fault of his. we got to do a better job um, in front of him, but also managing. I mean, in between our play on the play on the wall, you know, leads to the first goal, and then the uh, two penalties that I, I thought in the third period late there. I thought, I thought all that kind of spoiled the good third period. Like, we were going well. We weren't giving up very much. We were in full control of the game. And then you know, we let our guard down and, and slip a bit to, to allow them to get the second goal. Um, and there's some you know, penalty before that, penalty after that. Um, I thought we just let them get their momentum going. But I loved how we kept our composure uh, with what was remaining on the clock to make sure we got to overtime, got our point. And then we were very composed in overtime and just controlled things. Uh, you know, and, and um, the way Austin and Mitch uh, took care of the puck, got a line change with possession, allowed fresh guys to go out and play against tired people to, uh, to, to allow us to win, win the game. And, um, and over time, you know, those are subtle little plays that I don't think they'll get credit for a point on it, but that's a, that's a big moment in the game too, just, you know, despite the fact they, they shot the puck in the net a lot as, uh, as, a, t as a tandem, that decision to to give up on the play and get fresh people out there so we're playing fresher than the opponent. That was a really big moment uh, in that overtime to let us win the game. Overall, this is what you were talking about, alluding to this morning, Sheldon, just about the games you're going to be playing between now and the end of the regular season, the fight, the battle, and 
some things might not go your way in through 60 minutes, others will, but you come up the end. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's a six, 60 minute, 60 plus tonight. Um, first period doesn't go our way. Like, fellow, like that team is playing hard. Like, they're, they're winning a lot of games for good reason. You know, they got a lot of speed on forward and defense. Very mobile, lots of skill, but they play hard and make it really difficult to get to their net. Yeah, you know, uh, they don't, uh, we had to really wear them down to, for Austin to get his scoring chance that they led, led to the first goal. You know, uh, I don't know how long the shift was uh, for Sanheim in that moment there, but we, we really had to earn that, uh, um, uh, earn that with, like, you know, it was two or three different lines that we had really uh, earn that opportunity to break them down to the point that they lost structure. That, and that's the kind of things you need to do to win these types of games against teams like that. Like I said, they play extremely well. Uh, Torch has got them going, and, and, and uh, they got a playoff mindset and mentality, and you got to really stay with it. And I thought our guys uh, did that both into, you know, get the game in our control, and then when we gave it back uh, at the end there, just to keep our composure to make sure we get our points. Simone Benoit seems to be a real, a real crowd favorite the way he plays. That's obvious. You can see some teams not wanting to engage him in corners because of what he can do. The Flyers to the one. Uh, just his emergence has been growing importance for you in your in for own zone play. Yeah, he's uh, he's been very important. He's becoming a very popular teammate as well, both in his personality and with how he plays, which I think how he plays allows his personality to to come through and, and come out and. Um, allows him to be comfortable because he knows he's a he's a, a meaningful piece of our team. Uh, just a competitor, but also just such a great defender, right? Like he's in your way. He's got a good stick on you. Um, I got to be careful because last time I talked really positively about him, I thought he had his worst game the next time out. But but uh, um, he's been tremendous for us. He's 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 a real real um, a real fun guy to coach too because he's he wants to work. He wants you know he wants to learn. He's asked questions, got a good personality, comes here with a smile. Uh, I think he's having a lot of fun. Yep, thanks.